I want to share with you my favorite tips for a self-care day. Let's do it. <laughs> For those of you who might not know, who aren't on my Patreon, I share so much stuff on my Patreon. So if you're not on there, please go check that out. It's right here. I shared with my patrons that this was like a really tough month for me this past month, June. July will be great. And I started out that way and I'll get to that in a second. But June was not my best month. And also looking back on past Junes that I've had, it seems to just generally not be my best month either. <laughs> I love July, I love August. That's my birthday month. Catch me on August 4th. Don't forget to say happy birthday because I'm very vain. So June was a bit tricky. Work stuff, personal stuff, million things. And when I got back to LA from Texas a couple days ago, I just kind of had to rush, 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 get a video out, do a bunch of stuff. And today was kind of my day to like, Hey, you do that too right now. That's number one. Self-care tip number one, take a deep breath, but an actual deep breath and don't be stupid about it. Don't be like, oh. wasn't that nice? And so I just wanted to share some of my favorite self-care tips with you guys. I think a lot of them are pretty like, you've heard them before, I'm sure, but I think a couple of them are good and different and new and hopefully exciting. We already did number one, deep breath. Oh, we're almost done. Just kidding, there's so many. Number two is change your sheets. I can almost guarantee that you haven't changed your sheets in a while and that's not shade, I get it. I used to be in a habit where I did not change my sheets for far too long. Recently this past year, I started really, really implementing that. Like every week I change my sheets. It's really nice. It's so oh, and that's a, that's a travel tip too. Change your sheets the day that you travel. Like if you have a flight at 10 a.m., change your sheets at 7 a.m. that day. That way when you come home, you have fresh sheets that haven't been slept in. Number three, you guys already know, drink a ton of water and switch it up. Oh, here, we're gonna be a little crazy. Drink ice water with, with lime or drink warm water with lemon or drink room temperature water and chug a whole cup of it Bingo, bingo, you got a bunch of your water in for the day. Water is amazing. Put some fruit in it, put some mint in it. Just drink your water. Number three, I mean four, number four, do a general tidy up of your room. I guarantee you, there is some vacuuming that could be done. There is a bed that could be made. Or just like maybe change your room up a bit. That'd be fun too. Number five is a big one. Number five, you have to do. Are you listening? Do three things that you have been putting off. Small things. I've been meaning to change that back wall in my room for like a month now. I had to take a couple pictures down, move those around, and I'm putting up a new thing I got. So I got that ready. Oh, one thing off my list that I've been meaning to do. I got some receipts sorted out that have been on this frickin' counter 
for, I don't know, two months. Guess how long it took me? I don't know, literally three minutes. And so I threw those things out and I got those things sorted and I felt so much better. I felt such a relief. It was so nice. Number six is do something you really like to do. For me, I love, this is gonna sound like such a whole thing, but I feel so lucky and grateful all the time. So I want to be honest. I love what I do. I put up a video today and I love commenting back to people on my video. So make sure you leave comments in this one of what you like to do with your self care days, because maybe I'll take some tips from you and you let me know what tips you're taking from me. So I commented back on my video. I talked to some patrons. I messed around on my Patreon a little bit to see what kind of fun new things we could maybe be doing. And that brings me a lot of joy. So do something that brings you joy. Seven, watch a comfort show or a comfort movie or listen to a comfort podcast. My go-to comfort shows that you are more than welcome to borrow, you can take them out for a spin. I have gotten my use out of them. Our new girl, Gilmore Girls, Scrubs. Lately, I have a new comfort show, which is like very exciting. It doesn't happen very often, as you can tell by the dates that these shows have aired. I have so fallen in love with Modern Family. It's insane. Oh my God, Phil Dunphy, marry me please forever. Mm, I love you. Anyway, these are all just like lighthearted, cute shows that like you don't have to be so invested in. Like, it's not like a Grey's Anatomy where you're like, who died? Why'd she drown? Who's this new character? The hospital's closing. It doesn't have to be like that. <laughs> it can just be like, do 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 do, punk and chunk and like, you know, if you watch Modern Family, you get it. Those are some shows I really love. So I think you might love them too. Watch School of Rock, dude. Watch School of Rock. If you would like to feel good and feel better and be happy, just watch School of Rock. It's going to make you feel so good. Number eight, what else did we do today? Oh, number eight, try something new. That can be a small thing. You're allowed for it to be a small thing. For me, I went to Trader Joe's and I've been craving pizza. I really want pizza and you guys know I love their frozen pizzas, but I usually only get like one of three different kinds. And so today I just got a different one. To be fair, I did also get one of the ones that I know that I like, just in case I don't like the new one. Part eight B, also make sure that you're comfortable with what you're doing. I got a different pizza. I got this pizza, which I am very excited for. I will let you know in the edit if it was good or not. And if I made the other pizza instead. Self-care tip number nine, treat yourself a little bit. Now, I think that self-care culture is really great and beautiful and has like blown up recently. And I think that that's awesome because I think everybody needs to be taking care of themselves a little bit more. But I think sometimes it can get a little expensive. A trick that I like is for me, I really love wine and I like a lot of different types of wine, but I know my favorite wine is Sauvignon Blanc. So instead of getting like the normal, like $4 one that I would get, I'm sorry, millennial wine competition. <laughs> I instead got like a $7 one. So it's not breaking the bank. It's not doing some crazy thing but it's giving me a little variety and it's giving me the idea that I'm sort of like treating myself a little bit without making me nervous at the same time. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this way, but sometimes if you're doing a self-care day, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna get that $200 jumpsuit. And then you get it and you're like, yeah, I deserve this. And then the next day you're like, Ugh. <laughs> so this is like, to me, it's a really nice way to kind of boost your spirits, try something new and also treat yourself a little bit without going too crazy. Number 10, find a couple candles that you love or just one or eight, but find a few candles that you like. Have those going throughout the day. Nice things are meant to be nice for a reason. So if you have a nice candle that you've been waiting to burn, burn it. That's what it's there for. Cause then it's gonna be built up in your head so much of like, oh, I gotta wait for the right time to burn it. Oh, this person's not special enough for me to burn it when they come over. Oh, I don't wanna do it when I'm just home alone. Oh, I'm only gonna be here for like another hour. So I don't wanna let like turn it off right away. Get a candle that you're excited. It's so silly, but get a candle that you're excited about. It's over, oh, well, you can't see it, but it's over there. It smells nice. It's sometimes you get the crackling wick ones, which a lot of them just sound like white noise and not wood crackling, but that's beside the point. 11, do something nice for somebody. I love my roommate so much. She is such a bright light in my life. I got her just a little bouquet of flowers while I was at Trader Joe's because they reminded me of her and I thought she would like them. Don't worry, I got myself some too. <laughs> and we both love having fresh flowers around. So I was like, I want them. And I bet she would also want them. You know, those were there. I mean, don't tell Christy, but they were $4. That's just something that like, it's going to make me happy to show her that I love her. And then also we both get flowers. Number 12, 
fresh flowers. Every single person likes flowers. I've never met somebody. It's been such a trope that like, oh, women love flowers. Bitch, everybody loves flowers. Like the thing I'm manifesting in my life right now for my super successful like adulthood homeowner life is to always have fresh cut flowers. I think they're beautiful. I think they make the room smell good and look good and be good and have life in it. Everything about flowers are great. Give them to someone, get them from someone, get them for yourself. Give them to yourself. <laughs> Send them to yourself. Who cares? Get some flowers. Move your body. Exercise. Make yourself feel good. That's huge. So for me, I went to the gym this morning. I love the gym. You guys know that. And that doesn't have to be the gym. It can be going to a dance class. It can be dancing in your room. It can be going on a walk. Whatever getting around and moving looks like for you, I have a feeling that's going to help you feel really, really good and really proud of yourself for your self-care day. Number 14, number 13, number 13. I am somebody who really, really, really feels the best most of the time. Sometimes this isn't the case, but most of the time I feel the best when I put some makeup on, I throw myself together, I get on a dress. That makes me feel fantastic. And that's how I like to go out and present myself to the world usually. There are plenty of times where that is not the case, but when I am doing something for myself that day, that is definitely something that makes me feel really good and really special. Whatever makes you feel the most confident, that might be something that makes you feel great. Why not give it a shot? Number 15 is have something that you're looking forward to that day. So like for me, I love my apartment so much and we have a west facing apartment and we get to see the sunset, which I look forward to every single day. But at that time, I get to turn on all of my salt lamps. You guys know I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five salt lamps and I swear they have just kind of accumulated. I love the glow that they bring. I think the color is so beautiful. It makes me really, really happy. So I always look forward to like getting my room all together at like, well, now that it's summer, like 8.30 when it starts to get dark and dusk and turning all that stuff on. Oh, it's so pretty. Number 16 and the one that I will end on because it is one that is most important to me is have your comfort food too. Right now, that's just my little frozen pizza, a glass of wine, you know, like, something where I don't have to do the cooking, but I still really enjoy it and really look forward to it. A lot of times my comfort food is cooking something. Like I cook spaghetti and meatballs with my mom this, uh, the past time when I saw her. And that was so, like that was selfcare.com promo code Irene. Loved that. Ugh. But sometimes it's not cooking. Sometimes it's giving yourself a night off from cooking and a night off from worrying about that kind of stuff. Make sure you eat something that you like today, but make sure you drink a lot of water throughout the day too. That was my little self-care vlog and day and tips and tricks. And I hope you guys liked watching it as much as I liked filming it. And I hope you make sure that you schedule some time where you can give yourself a self-care day too. And also remember, it doesn't have to be a self-care day. It can be a self-care hour if that's all you've got. A self-care 10 minutes, a self-care deep breath. <laughs> Whatever you can do to make yourself a priority at some point today, I hope you do it. Look at us go. Look at us living our best. Mwah.